Hello everyone, and welcome to the Demon Souls playthrough. We are finally here. We are circling back to where it all began with Demon Souls. Beautiful main menu. We are playing the remake on PlayStation 5 first because it is a nightmare to record PlayStation 3 games. So we are going with the PlayStation 5. The Blue Point remake. So we're going to see how gorgeous this game on PS5 can look. So we've uh, recently finished Elden Ring on the channel and I needed a break. I needed a break because that was 50 episodes, 150 hours over the course of three months <laughs> on the channel. And that was with all of the additional baggage of playing the rest of the Souls series before that with Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne and Sekiro. And it's been a it's been a ride. It's been a ride, to be frank. And I'm forever grateful for the ride that has been the Souls game. So it's actually really exciting to sit down and feel ready to to jump back into it. Uh, definitely feels real good to just jump back into it. Now it looks like it's going to cut to some sort of uh, opening movie. I haven't watched that yet. I assume when I start a new game it should play said opening movie. Uh, so I'm not, I'll, I'll skip that for now. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be great to actually circle back to the original experience. What started this franchise before Dark Souls took the, took the spotlight? We started with Dark Souls 1, moved into the rest, and it's about time we see the humble beginnings of the Souls series. So let's start and jump in for a new game and see what I have to look forward to. Um, character creation, that's what I have to look forward to. Body type A, body type B. Gotcha. Nice. It looks pretty. It looks pretty straight off the bat. We've got our player's name. What classes are in Demon Souls? Our soldier? Our knight, and the hunter, the priest, the magician, the wanderer, the barbarian, the thief, the temple knight, and royalty. Cool. These outfits look really good. This is great. So this launched with the PlayStation 5, one of the launch titles for the game, and I've been having it sit in my library for the longest time and I'm like I need to get through Elden Ring first <laughs> and we need and then I need to take a, a well-deserved break because the burnout can feel pretty strong after playing uh back to back but I'm not sure what I'll actually I'm not sure what I'll actually choose um I love how there's just like hunched over or standing upright I I'm not particularly sure what I'm going to start with yet. We've got an axe and a bow. A knight class of rather advanced area of southern Boletaria. Fitted with sturdy armor and adept at close combat, ready for ensuing situations. I want to go with something that's not just like a knight or a soldier. Something a little, a little different could be cool. I've never really gone and focused on any incantations or, or miracles or anything like that on a first playthrough before, that could actually be quite interesting and exciting. The Temple Knight, special knight that protects the Temple of God, heavily clad and equipped for crowd control who draws upon a restorative miracle. It's got basically the Paladin. 13 Faith, what's the difference between that and the Priest? They're kind of around the same, aren't they? Soldier of the church that believes in the god of this world, adept at close combat and can draw upon a restorative miracle. What's the deal with royalty? A person of royal descent who has officially learned spells commands the spell Soul Arrow with the benefits of a rare ring. So there's no sort of wretch class where you just start with nothing. You are definitely, no matter what, starting with a thing. Royalty does start at level one, so I guess that's kind of like your wretch class. <laughs> But they flipped the script and it's royalty instead. I'm actually thinking I might go with uh, with a priest class. I'm feeling like 
doing some doing some faith, doing some some miracles because I have never really focused on doing miracles in in my playthroughs. We've done dexterity, we've we've done strength, we've tried our hands at multiple different forms of magic. Let's go with priest. In terms of our starting gift, uh, a stone that radiates a, a guiding light, restores HP over time, grass jelly, an elixir which increases the rate of stamina recovery, bright water, uses MP over time, a providential ring raising item discovery, uh, kunai, poison throwing weapon, a firebomb, soul remains, and fire arrow. I'm going to go with providential ring. I'm going to raise my item discovery. Um, foundation. Ooh, there's a style. Style A, style B. Cool. Change your walking. We got vocals. Oh god. With a facial animation to boot. <laughs> Good, okay. Okay, E. E. Let's have a look. What are our presets? These faces look really good. Beautiful. Done. Pack it in. We're we're ready. That's all I need. Let's go in. Our weird bearded Petrus cosplay. Let's go. Look at these presets. These faces look incredible, actually. That's amazing. Oh, actually, good pre... pre uh, actually, I take it back. I was going to say good presets, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, genuinely not a bad selection because um, they're not boring presets at all they're actually quite quite interesting there's a there's a bunch of them too what a bizarre mix of characters huh I quite like it I'm going to mess around here and I'll see what I can do this is my priest fella, isn't it? It's perfect. Um, I'm going to mess around in my character creator uh, and see what I can what I can make. I'm going to make him in my image, naturally. Uh, but very beautiful. Let's randomize. Let's see what random ones we can come up with. Let's see what it can give us. Anything wacky, anything wild. Look at those scars. Okay. Nothing too... The randomizer is, is actually quite sensible, really. That's the most sensible randomizer I've ever seen. And it's pretty quick too. Look how fast you can cycle through these bad boys. Um, maybe if you start with a preset that like is crazy and then randomize. No. Oh, hang on. Now randomize. No. Okay, so the randomize one stays pretty sensible to be honest. It doesn't make some absolutely crazy character but it does you know it makes an attempt to <laughs> i'm gonna fuck around i'm gonna make my character and then we're gonna jump in and here we are this is this is what we've come up with this is my this is my priest with his glowing eyes from excessive magic usage the facial hair is incredible. The scarring and tattoos is amazing. This character creator is absolutely gorgeous. You can change the environment around you, changing the lighting conditions for your character. It has one of the most, like, one of the most detailed facial hair modifiers ever, where you can choose to change, you know, the sideburn section, the chin section, and the moustache section separately. You can create your own unique little beard in there. Like, instead of it just being like, you know, set choices, you can customize it. And it's perfect. It's amazing. I love it. Um, genuinely so good. And I, whenever they render facial hair that actually comes off the face, it's perfect. So that's my guy. That's where we're at. Uh, I have not decided on a name. For my priest yet <laughs> i have not decided on a name but we're we're close we're we're close to having this one set in uh i'm thinking that there could be i want to have like almost some form of like connective tissue to uh my dark souls playthroughs with those character names 
but we might come up with something new as well. So we're gonna we're gonna settle on a name for this lovely priest gentleman, and then we're gonna we're gonna finalize our character. Okay, we have our character name, Vargas. I've been watching a show at the moment that has a character with a similar name, so I was like, I like that name. We're gonna rock with that. Vargas, finalize. Let's go. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. The awe of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astraea with her knight Gaal Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Fuck yeah, dude. Boletaria. Cool, cool name. My favorite staple of the Dark Souls intro cutscenes is like who fears not death. naming the cool characters. I shall guide you to the fissure. <laughs> Let's go. Do the vibration in this controller right now. The old one back to slumber. Fuck yeah. Outpost passage. We're in, baby. All right. Huds up. We're in. Amazing. Um, I love the Dark Souls staple of uh, <laughs> naming all of the cool enemies slash characters that you will that you will meet on the course of your journey. Wow. Okay. I have to get familiar with everything once again. So let's have a look at where we're at. Um, our equip burden is currently at 74. I need a strip already so I can so I can do a decent roll. Uh, 58%. All right. How can I start rolling? There we go. Need a bit more of a roll in there. <laughs> Take off my pants immediately. So we have the mace and the talisman of God. Let's have a read in our inventory. So. Crescent Moon Grass is what we consume to slowly recover 
uh, our HP, apparently. Medicinal herb named after the lunar phase. Consumed to recover a small amount of HP. The effects of moongrass vary depending on its state at the time of harvest. Crescent moongrass is picked while very young. Cool. Okay. What else we got in this lovely inventory? Let's run through. We've got an orgite of souls. Stone that emits light by the power of souls. An iridescent stone fueled by souls. Changes color depending on the nature of nearby souls. Crafted by Gary, known for his magical handicrafts and close acquaintance with Sage Freak the Visionary. Wildly carried by travelers it, uh, who depend on its ease of use and light weight. We've got our standard mace, favored by warriors of the faith. And a handcrafted metal amulet featuring a symbolic depiction of God used to cast miracles. So the required MP must be available. The miracle must be committed to memory. And also we have a shield. We'll see how much we actually end up using said shield, however. And then we've just got stuff of fine chain mail. Providential ring. One of the most prized possession of a merchant, he bet his life on the hope of greater riches. And we have our heal miracle. First of all, a succinct display of God's power, a great friend to warrior clerics who have departed on long journeys of solitude. Cool. I'm liking our glowing eyes. <laughs> we can see in the dark. This looks gorgeous. Look at the lighting. Look at the environment here. Holy crap. Oh no, we have messages. Oh no. What's out? Let's... I'm gonna read this first message, which is... We're gonna have our tutorial messages. Oh, cool. We have a pushback with the mace. We've got our standard attack. Heavy attack. Let's get into it, shall we? But the way that the camera's over the shoulder and I'm like bald with a beard, I'm totally rocking that Kratos look right now. It just looks like Kratos from behind with a mace. Boy, I've come for the demon soul. So warriors are crossing into uh, Boletaria, wanting to get those sweet, sweet demon souls. What a fucking beautiful looking game immediately. I got a punch. That's my parry. We get used to having stamina. We've got MP. I've already accidentally eaten a leaf. That was a mistake. Okay, we've got triangle to still two-hand our weapons. Lovely. Everything is kind of very familiar and the, sa and the same. Holy crap! I can only imagine just the the step up from the from the PlayStation Three here, and seeing how this has been like revitalized yeah the lighting is no joke oh, I, I'm we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that I don't have a jump anymore and I don't have a crouch anymore and jumping is like is it with the thumbstick Wait, how the hell do I jump in this game oh god how are we jumping controller do we have a we have a jump, right? Can you jump in Demon Souls? Can we not jump in Demon Souls? Oh, I need to turn the controller speaker mode off so it actually comes through the uh, my headphones. The vibration, by the way, in the in the PlayStation Five controller, oh god, is is insane. I don't think we have a jump. Because usually you can press it and then tap B again. But that doesn't work. Tapping that with the A button doesn't work. Or the thumbstick. Oh god, I don't think we have a jump. Well, I guess that kind of... Uh, it might be on one of these. Maybe we'll read these messages at the beginning. <laughs> And we'll see if there's... There'll probably be one that'll point out if we're able to... To jump at some point, hey? So I don't know how to lock on now. This is a Dark Souls 1. 
I know what I'm doing. So we're collecting the souls. As usual. No, some things never change. The water and the reflections and the and the lighting are insane. Something that I'm going to do is we're going to go into our settings and we're going to make sure that um, we're definitely going to make sure to launch it um, <laughs> offline. Additional spoken dialogue clarity? Yes, please. Yes, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, actually, what I should probably do is I should probably put my Talisman of God in my left hand. That would make sense. Nice, okay. His body moves when you run through it. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually reacts to running through. Can you hit it as well? Crazy. This is just Kratos' origins. This is what Kratos was doing in between God of War 3 and God of War 2018. Before he got a son. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I love that you're the, the character like looks with his head as well where you're looking. My god. How is this so fucking pretty? Oh, so L in a direction hold circle to vault over railings. Okay, so there's a vault. That's cool. We haven't had the ability to, to vault before. I have to get back into the mentality of, of hidden walls. I don't know how they... <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be hidden walls in this game. Cool. Nice. There's no coming back. There's a back step and a roll. As you'd expect. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I want to try this pushback thing with the mace. Nice. Good stuff. I, I just... I miss jumping. <laughs> I so miss jumping. I loved playing Sekiro and then Elden Ring uh, one after the other. Just made... Jump attack so satisfying, you know. What is this? Touch Archstone. Uh, what the fuck? Where am I? Forlorn Outpost. What the? F what? Oh god! I didn't know it would teleport me. I thought it might have been like a bonfire. Strong attack. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way then, because the tutorial messages are still here. I should have checked out that area more. Oh god, we've upgraded. We've upgraded from zombies to people. Okay, we got actual people out here now. Feels it feels comfy returning to souls, doesn't it? Feels feels comfortable. Can I parry with this hand? I don't know if that's a parry animation or whether I should have my shield. I have to remember that we're not in Elden Ring, where you can only parry with specific, um, skills. I don't know if that doesn't really count as a parry, it just would, I don't think it is a parry. I'm just, I'm just back slapping him. <laughs> I think if I unequip this, that's the parry. It's pretty quick, actually, with the hand. Let's try it. Oh god, why does this have to be the guy that I want to try and parry? Why did it have to be you? <laughs> I'm gonna eat some leaves real quick, hold on. Okay, look at all look at how good I am with the timing. 
I'm really good at parrying. That is historically known. Okay, I'm gonna die. I need to not die. Can you give me a sec, sir? I'm busy. These leaves don't do shit. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna parry someone else that's not you, okay? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually fight you. Only there was a crouch in this game. I cannot, cannot teabag. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try parrying when I feel a little more safe, and not when I'm going off against magical enchanted guards. <laughs> oh no, it's another one. I just thought it would just be the one. Yeah, oh, get fucked up. <laughs> That's right, sir. That's right. Didn't even lay a finger on me that time. No match for me. Vargas. Half moon grass. The half moon grass and the crescent moon grass. What is the difference? Consume to reasonably recover. Uh-huh. The effects of moon grass depending on the state of the time of harvest. Half moon grass is picked after the grass begins to wither. Okay. There's the talisman tutorial. Oh god. Hello. You boom, take a mace. Oh, how do you survive? Mace to the face. This is, this is definitely, this is definitely a PS5 game. Look at this shit. This is beautiful. And it's about time I finally check this bad boy out. Get smacked. Oh no. What does Fogwall mean in Demon Souls? That guy just stood there and let me kill him. Dude, their faces, even when they're dead. Um, holy crap. World, what is this? Boletarian Palace, Stonefang Tunnel. I don't think I should be reading that yet. Uh, see, this is a moment of the game where I'd be like, I would jump over here normally, right? I can dodge roll across that gap. There's nothing there for me anyway. Ah. <laughs> Normally I'll do my little janky Dark Souls jump. Alright. Now, in the first Dark Souls, fog walls don't always mean bosses, but then later on they just always mean bosses. So I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be a boss fight, or if this is just going to be like one of those Dark Souls 1, just fog to enter a new area. Okay, it's just fog to enter a new area. Good. We back to that sort of... that attitude. Need to really, like... hone back into that original Dark Souls mentality. The precursor to Dark Souls, which is quite exciting. Oh, damn, look at this place. Forlorn Outpost. Oh, no, but now there's another fog wall. The, all right, this will be a... <laughs> there's no way you're going to have just two fog walls back to back. This is going to be a boss. I'm at half health. I got grass. I'm good. Hang on. Let me just... Let me just munch. Rum, rum, rum. Munch on some grass real quick. Yep. Okay. Oh! Vanguard Demon. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. Um, holy shit. Okay, this is, this isn't like the Asylum Demon at all. The Asylum Demon's supposed to be the tutorial. 
Vanguard demon. Smack his ass. His flesh jiggles when you smack it. Oh my god, he's got the Asylum demon move set. Oh, smack his ass. All right, he's slow, so we're just gonna. He's just gonna keep doing his slam move. And I'm gonna keep whacking that booty. Look at his eyes. What a fucking amazing design. Look at his flesh just moving. His butt jiggling and everything. I'm going for that ass, boy. I'm going for that ass. I'm going down. You will know my name, for I am the man who beat the tree sentinel straight away because I would not fucking <laughs> let him live. I come from I come from Elden Ring, Vanguard Demon. You are no match for me, even though I'm doing literal fucking pointless damage. I'm up for the challenge, baby. Like, am I supposed to be able to win? Am I still alive? I'm still alive! I'm still alive, holy fuck. I thought I just got fucking crushed. He actually wiped me out in one hit. I need more health. You keep slicing over there, I'm gonna be over here, eating grass. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, what? Just hit me. Did he backhand me? Oh no, I got stuck in a wall. You died. However, the Nexus traps you. You remain here forever as a soul. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Wow. It was a scripted death. <laughs> this is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. not quit the Nexus, but the five Archstones will guide thee to the Outer Lands. You have died, and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. What the fuck? Okay, so I, that was like a scripted boss fight to kill you. I was, I was up for the challenge. I did fail, though. <laughs> <laughs> However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your corporeal body. Okay, a Nexial binding. Wow. What happens if you kill the Vanguard demon and you proceed with the rest of the game? Do you just like, <laughs> just never go to the Nexus? Deathless run. Never get bound to the Nexus. All right. Um, <laughs> it was a solid effort. We almost got it to half health, chipping away. Not bad. Um, wasted a bunch of my grass. That's alright. The mark of those imprisoned by the Nexus. So this is like this game's dark sign. The bearer of this seal is bound to the Nexus. Never to be free even in death. When the body is lost, the soul remains trapped. Nexial binding returns the servant to the Nexus, but alas without any souls collected. Bearer of the curse. Wonderful. Uh, was that woman blind as well? Is she our firekeeper slash emerald herald slash maiden? Do we have thy maiden? Complete with Miyazaki's famous dirty feet? Nailed it. You're glowing blue. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the Archstones. 
Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. This is our crestfallen knight, isn't it? Is it the same voice actor? It's eerily similar, if, if it's not. This has got to be our crestfallen knight, right? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? But it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fucking classic enemies or like enemies, characters, all of it laughing after they've spoken to you. You came for Dima. <laughs> We're well. <laughs> okay. Just assessing my uh, my options. So these are the Archstones, the Digger King, the Covetous King, the Tower Queen, this one's busted, the Shadow Men, the Chieftain, dude these look amazing, this place is amazing. So this is our, this is our Firelink Shrine. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Stockpile Thomas. When the Scuds came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Right, so he's a he's a storage man. A storage man. Stockpile Thomas. <laughs> All the characters so far, the, the ones that we speak to, they seem to talk through their teeth. Like a lot of the time their mouths are moving, but their still teeth are there. And then sometimes it opens. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but... <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. My candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. She says very little, but has a kind heart. Candle maiden. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Candle Maiden. She was hanging out in that Dark Souls 3 library, dunking her head in wax. If only something could be done to help her. Best of luck to you. We gotta melt that, uh, melt that wax from her eyes. Alright, let's meet the locals then. We're just gonna, we're going through them. Andre with glasses, but skinny, is that you? Mm, you new here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. Yeah. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? <laughs> Alright, blacksmith Baldwin. You're no Andre. You know that. We all know that, but you're a kind fella, and you've got a scaly arm. Mm. What do we upgrade with? Hardstone. Okay, so they're called hardstone in this game. Hardstone shards. What you got? 
Fresh spice, consumed to slightly replenish MP, used by nobles as a luxury, and by magicians as a necessity. Ed's sharpening stone recovers durability of a right hand weapon. Oh no, durability! A sharpening stone used by Ed, blacksmith of Stonefang, repairs where on the weapon wielded in the right hand. Durability. No. No. Cracked stone eye restricts health recovery temporarily. So this is our Estus. Uh, Estus soup. What is it? The Estus thing that you throw. A mystical stone that inhabits health recovery. Throwing it produces a large aura. Okay. If you haven't heard, there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stone Fang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starved men. If you do meet him. No, forget it. That stubborn old near do well will just chase you off. Stubborn old near do well. The lip syncing on the on the NPCs is actually really good. Like, give a, you know. Forgiving the fact that they talk through their teeth, like the lip syncing is really impressive. There aren't enough smithing tools in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you'll just have to make do. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. You're just gonna have to make do, laddie, with the flame, dear flame. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. Okay. No interest, eh? Not yet. I can tell you're not going to last long here. Excuse me. I only have 184 souls, chap. I'm a wandering soul at the moment. I'm trying to fucking figure shit out. Oh my, how has this happened? Has God abandoned us for King Alant? Failing to show proper respect? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Okay. I'm gonna run around and see who else we can meet. Uh, that is a dead end. Oh yes, I have to get, I have to refamiliar my, refamiliarize myself with the, with the claw grip on my controller so I can sprint and look around at the same time. <laughs> um. This is the messaging grounds. Uh, I'll be going back to playing offline because I don't like messages littering my environment constantly. Look at this. Look at this statue hanging upside down. All these markings as well on the wall. This is a fascinating place. The Nexus. Anyone around here? Not yet, I suppose. Let's head up these stairs. So there's a candle maiden here somewhere as well, I suppose, who did some kind of fancy, did some kind of fancy chant. It's a pretty big space. Hello there, is there anyone out here walking around this big hall? Not yet. Not yet. Let's ascend even higher. So I think there's like, there's a statue hanging upside down, then there's a statue that's upright all the way at the top here. Yeah, wow. There's no one in here either. Current profile. That's me! Okay, you can s switch it around, I suppose. The door or the pathway is blocked. Okay. Interesting. Um, I suppose Candle Maiden has stepped out briefly. How the fuck do I get out of the. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of here? What am I doing? I guess if we touch an arch stone, then we get out of here, right? Should we, I suppose we should do it in order. 
Well, I recommended this one. The Covetous King. You came for demons? <laughs> We're welcome. <laughs> this is the one that he looked at. Let's touch this Archstone. Boletari uh, Boletarian Palace, Gates of Boletaria. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers attack trespassers, their souls stolen by demons, while nearby terrible dragons have taken roost. We go to the Gates of Boletaria. That is certainly a dragon. No! I'm getting red wyvern flashbacks from Dark Souls 1! Do not disturb a red wyvern and his lunch. <laughs> He's a mouthful of fucking legs. The gates of Boletaria. Wow. Where are we in comparison to where we died, I wonder? The Forlorn Outpost. Late Moon Grass. Okay, so now I've also got the Late Moon Grass. Greatly recover HP. Late Moon Grass is a rare type that emits a faint light after withering. Cool, so I've just got a bunch of... Grass. I'm, not, I'm at half health already. <laughs> okay, so touching an arch stone, is this going to just take me back to the Nexus? Or is this going to travel, make me teleport to somewhere else? Oh, it is. Okay, there you go. It is like th these are our like bonfires, I guess. So we've got our arch stones. But you don't rest at them, they're just travel only. Arch stone travel. Okay. Is there like a. I wonder if there's a thing that we can actually rest at as well. To recover health and stuff. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bitch, you thought. I was obviously expecting you. Dreggling shield. I have healed. Wait. Wait, I'm stuck at half health. Don't tell me this is like that fucking Dark Souls 2 thing. Oh, is it because I... Oh. Are we at half health because I am a fucking, like, ghost? I'm like, wispy. I need to find... Is that what we're doing? Am I going to go find my body? And then I can have full health again? I just wasted MP healing unnecessarily. Oh man, so, yep, okay, now I can see that there's an actual line on my health bar. Goddamn, alright, I'm, I'm, I'm so weak. Please allow me to pass. God, they got a bit of a jump on them, don't they? Sorry mate, just eating me weeds. Yeah, they've got a hell of a jump, and then they just launch right into that combo. How can you even see through that weird wood mask you've got? What are you crying about? You have a flame sword. And a firebomb. Oh god. Is backstabbing a thing in this game? Oh! Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> back smash. Takes me back to my Dark Souls 2 mace wielding. Oh, God. Hang on. Let's check the other side. Ah, oh, it's closed. Never mind. That's a, that gate is locked. No, I'm coming. Oh, hang on. God damn it. I gotta lure him. I'm gonna try this firebomb out on the on the archer. Oh, 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 God! Jesus! All right. Mm -mm. All right. I'm gonna try this firebomb out on this guy. Hey! 
Get fucking blasted, boy. Hmm. I feel like that is a death warning. <laughs> I feel like that's a... Don't go down there. Do not... Do not do it. That's... That's definitely... I wonder what the... What the barrier is to take damage when you drop if it's very similar to Dark Souls 1. Because Dark Souls 1, you take damage very easily when you fall down. And then the uh, the further you go through the, the FromSoft games, the more forgiving the, the fall damage is. But we're right back at Demon Souls, so it's only one way to find out. Five fire bombs. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Ooh. That's right. Guess who actually knows how to use these? Me. Fog wall. God, he knows how to use them too. Actually, so around an item or souls, they have that same sort of wispy effect. Ooh, mail breaker. Mail breaker. Though this exceedingly small rapier lacks a cutting edge, it can pierce the toughest armor. Rapiers boast great damage despite their narrow attack range, performing well against metal armor and hard scales in particular. However, they are easily parried and do little to break an enemy's guard. Exceedingly small rapier. I would say that I'm, I would say that's an average-sized rapier. Probably bigger than most, actually. You know, I'd say that's uh, an above-average-sized rapier. You know. Yeah! How dare you throw a firebomb at me, you bastard. Get fucking smacked. Um, uh. Where's my fire sword? Where's my fire sword? Can you... Back off. Don't get in the way of a man and his body. I'm looking for me fucking... Oh. Where is that? Ah! Where the fuck's that coming from? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh no! What's gonna happen if I die again? I don't know how this game works. Fuck you. What happens if I die on the way to my body? I become even less of a fucking man? And I've got like a quarter health? I don't want to see that happen. I'm staying alive. How do I get this? How do I get this? That's like... Stuck in there real good. Sure, okay. <laughs> See ya. It's a it's a long journey. You couldn't spawn me like right in front of my body, I gotta go on this uh pilgrimage to get it back. Oh, Okay. Ain't nothing like missing my stronghold. That's my favorite pastime. Okay. Try again, mate. Try again. Okay, so the crescent moon dra uh, grass drops pretty frequently. So is that our... That's our... That's our healing item? Is different variations of grass? I suppose there's no, like, sort of Estus... Hmm. Can I, like, roll on it? How do I... Hmm. Interesting. I refuse to look at messages. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I found my answer. Okay. <laughs> I found my answer. See? Perfect. Bastard sword. That's what I think when that guy throws a goddamn boulder at me. Classic move. Large sword, similar to a straight sword, is a versatile weapon, but its weight usually means it usually requires the use of both hands. Uh, 
Oh, I aren't strong enough to use this with one hand. You may use it effectively if you wield it with both hands. I think we're... Yeah, we're over... It just puts us over 50% as well, so never mind. Gotta get one of those increased equip load rings, please. Alright, you there, mate. You bastard. Oh, there you fucking boulder me. Oh god, I'm being shot. <laughs> just sees this fucking man with a mace just charging at him with like an arrow in my spine. He's like, how is he not paralyzed? Oh no, it's not the spear. Okay, false alarm, he's fine. The archers kind of stand there <laughs> when you uh, when you get too close. They're like, well, I have accepted my fate. Oh man. Oh man. Let's go back this way. These environments are mind-blowing, by the way. Like... Mind-blowing. That castle. Oh man, hello. What are you protecting? And can I have it? I want to know what you have. Nice. Can we drop down there? There's an item there, so I'm going to assume yes. And then that takes us back to the opening area, because we can... Ah, because we can vault over things. Alright, before I drop down there... Let's go in here. Okay. Yar! Okay. Rallying the troops, are you? Fucking which way are we supposed to go? So this way also goes somewhere. We'll just comb on through what's in here. I need a torch. My favorite thing in the world in these games is a torch. I need to illuminate my environment. Okay, if we go down here, we've got fire sword men. Fire sword man. Oh god, I'm on fire. There you go, there's my torch. I became the torch. Jesus, how far down does this go? <gasps> Phantom, you are not able to achieve your goal. Oh, it just takes me right back? Here. Okay. I was not able to achieve my goal, so I have to start again. Holy shit. So we don't return to the Nexus. We're stuck here until we get our body back? At half health, too. Oh. Okay. This is the situation we find ourselves in. <laughs> Amazing. That's that's incredible. They all really like that jumping move, don't they? They all really like that move. Am I being followed? I am. Persistent buggers you are. When will you learn? Oh yes. Oh. oh! Pine resin. Okay, this game has resin as well. Good to know. Um, enchant's right hand weapon with flame! Not for use with wooden weapons, naturally. Natural resin that exudes from pine trees. Okay, so we've got the ability to flame our weapon. Flame on. Okay. 
Oh, you've got a firebomb. Alright, gonna avoid trying to take an arrow to the back here. I'll take it to the face instead, thank you. Um, can I retrieve my souls from where I last died? That's where I'm going now. I'm gonna go and try and find my non-corpse, because technically I'm just a soul of a man right now, right? Can I collect souls? May I collect? Yes, I can. There's my little blue thing. Oh god, am I gonna die, like, right fucking in front of my souls? Don't do this to me. Ah, uh, how dare you live? How dare you live? Alright, we can collect them. Souls, retrieve. You've touched the mark of death itself. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. Okay, cool. Oh man, this is... Oh. Okay, cool. What are we doing here? What does this do? What have we done? Oh, we just dropped a man's body down there. Okay, cool. And if I vault over here, I'll probably die. Great. I'll try and check the bottom of this pathway out first. Fucking hell, there's a lot of you. Oh my, dude, their jump is insane. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Mail breaker. Oh, yeah. oh my god. These guys are worse than the, the hollows from Dark Souls 1 with the torches that just frantically beat the shit out of you. It's a shortcut lever. Is it? It is. Cling ring. Clingy ringy. Alright, where'd I drop that body? Here? Oh, two bodies. Age, spice, old ragged clothes, jade haired ornament. Nice. Ah! This is what I get for running past these guys earlier, because I'm paying for it now. Alright, you guys drop in too many mail breakers. Alright. I think I'm safe for a second. Let's have a look at what we've got. We've got some new loot, baby. Um, old ragged robes. A robe made of layers of ragged fabric, covered in tears, open seams, oh, sorry, tears, open seams, and writhing grubs. No person in their right mind would don these garments of their own accord. Old ragged gloves. Old ragged boots. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Cling ring. Oh, less HP reduction when in soul form. We are in soul form. There you go. How many rings can we... Two. No. <laughs> no, it's like Dark Souls 1. No more four. No more four rings. Okay. Okay. Should have expected that, though. Should have expected that. So I now have... I've got a little bit more health. I've got a little bit more health. Lovely. Let me run up these stairs like it's my l final mission in life. Man's got stamina. Actually, we've got a lot more of the half moon grass now. I should be eating that. That's that good shit. That's that good grass. Alright, so we've done this. Now, there's going down this way. And there's also going that way. That's going to take us into a big cathedral place. I feel like that's danger. So I'm going to go this way first. I'm going to go this way. Instead of going for that room. Oh. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you and your bombs. 
so we can vault over? I don't know. I'm scared of committing to a direction, but I know that I have to. Oh, I should have expected that. Classic. Hey! Dude. The way that the bodies and stuff react to getting hit is awesome. Love their ragdolls. Ugh! Jesus Christ! Ooh! <laughs> He's so creepy looking! Uh, hello! I've stumbled into your little house. Sorry that I've taken down your barricades. Ugh. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Everyone's fucking Scottish. I love it. But who's telling me? Dregling. Oh, so this is the Dregling Shield that we picked up. I love that. Uh, I love that it's such a Scottish game. <laughs> Mostly stolen. What you got for me? Wooden bolt. Crescent Moon. Soldier's Lotus. Stops bleeding. Consume to stop bleeding. There's bleeding in this game as well. Oh no! Bleeding, poison. There's obviously gonna be poison in this game. Just wait till we get to the poison swamp. In Boletaria, these petals have symbolic meaning and are given to warriors when sent off to war. Longsword. Ooga booga. Short spear. Light crossbow. Why does this one have a exclamation mark on it? Commonly worn by foot soldiers. Its weight slowly slows stamina regeneration as well. For all of them. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, Chief. Yeah, why is there a, there's an exclamation mark on the short spear only? Brave knight or lowly fodder. The demons snatched their souls regardless of their station, plummeting them all into madness. And those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> There's this skinny fellow, clad in the most lavish armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane, like yourself. Probably some pampered little lordling by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. Pampered little lordling. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least... Go ahead. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. God, the face expression changes are so creepy. He's not going anywhere. He says, okay, dregling little dregling merchant is down here. Do we read? I don't think we read the dregling shield. Little more than a patchwork of wood scraps. This attempt at imitation can hardly be called a shield. He's too zombified to be similar to patches, but he's doing a patches squat. I don't know. Is this our, is this dregling our patches? I feel like we'll, there's got to be an actual patches in here. This is a fake out. He's an imit he's a pale imitation doing the patches squat. Okay, so you can't just vault over anything. I can't vault over into that area. So we're limited of what we can actually vault. I expect that would kill me. Okay. We can, we can drop down, actually. Hmm. I'm just trying to keep in mind that there's a whole other section that we haven't traveled down yet. Oh, hello, everybody. Dropping in, dropping in for a party. Dropping in for a party. Yeah, they, they be dropping grass like no tomorrow, so that's cool.
Oh, uh, hello. Oh. I'm coming to get you. How do we return? Oh, we can return to the Nexus from the Archstone, so I can use these souls to level up my gear. But I need to find my body. Bit interesting when I have no fucking idea where the fallen outpost is. Oh god. That's right. Bastard. Throwing knife. Oh, hold on a second, sir. I'll be right. I'll be right with you. You want to shoot long range? I'm gonna. Uh... It's in the items thing, isn't it? Aha! Ready? Okay, so we <laughs> And he survived! After all that! After all that, he fucking lived. I, re I really expected him to fall to his death on that one. Oh! God. I want to fall to my own death. After all this. Yeah, take my last throwing knife. We'll exchange blows. <laughs> it gives me bolts instead. Alright. Throwing nerf knife tutorial complete. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Look over there. Look at that beautiful little spot in between the castle. In between the mountain peaks. Wow. Uh, any of you boys seen a forlorn outpost? Is it this way? Because th the further I go, the more I think I've got a long route ahead of me. Um, right, I'm turning around. Mark that one in my brain. We're going to go the other way now. I'm just trying to test the waters to see which direction things are in. <sighs> Okay, I did lose a little bit of health. I'm trying to test how far I can fall as well. Because mm. there's a whole ass area over here. This area is massive! This is quite huge, isn't it? This is quite huge. Oh god, the Xanthus crown, really? It never goes away, does it? I need to turn off online stuff as soon as possible because I don't want to see people's fucking phantoms. Alright, I'm going to quickly check down here because we're going to see what's over here. Because it might just be the, this one room. Who knows? Oh, you got lucky. God. See, and then I thought that was an enemy. Scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Okay, mate. Are you ready for a fight? Yeah, it's got a fucking spear and glowing red helmet. Oh, and he's charging me and everything. Get fucking slammed. No. <laughs> it was weird not seeing his health actually going down that whole time, but it's fine. Oh god. Oh no, this is, this is, this is bad. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be stuck in a perpetual state of getting fucking charged by this stupid guy's lance. While I'm, oh, and he, uh, I'm just trying to eat grass. Okay, why are you so strong? Every time I heal, he's like, I'm a charge. Fuck this guy. That's really unfortunate timing. Okay, can you... Fuck this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally runs past my firebomb every time I throw it. I need to put some more distance between us. And maybe be outside. That'll probably help. No! Okay. It's fine, because I have a shortcut now. And I have a little bit more health. Alright. 
I'm gonna time my firebombs better against that that guy. Oh, that's not the shortcut, hang on. Fuck, they really love the jump move, huh? Oh no! I forgot that there's actually a whole fucking bunch of them in here. Oh no, what have I done? Fuck my life, what have I- oh, what have I done? There we go. Fucking just some quick moves, man. Just spin around them real fast. Fuck. I didn't realize there was a whole fucking party in there. Of fire swords. <laughs> just a fucking small gathering. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Why does your why does your red friend have to be so much stronger than you, huh? We got three throwing knives and some late grass. Late grass is good. Ready to try again, team. Okay. Let's try this again. This guy is not really to be messed with at this point, you can tell. Okay. O okay. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I fucking hate my life. He just, he did not even get touched. <laughs> I'm not doing, okay, I'm not doing firebombs. He didn't, he, I did not even touch him. He just fucking ran at me, non-stop. I'm just gonna go for the backstabs, I think. That's the, that's the best way to do it. I just had a really bad, just a really bad moment of deja vu as well, which is, I just remembered that this this game is gonna be a fucking hilarious time of oh no. This game is gonna just be a hilarious time of um running back to bosses. Because it's gonna be that old fucking approach to things. I have to do the, the classic run backs to bosses. Well, I've lost all my souls, and it happens to the best of us. It's a good thing that I am not attached, and I definitely didn't need those at all, especially early game. Who needs souls? No one. No one. No one needs souls to play this game. Great. I love how this ends up being low key, like probably one of the worst shortcuts ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this ends up being one of the worst shortcuts ever. Especially if you're just trying to rush through like me and being an idiot. It's entirely possible though. Alright, we're not doing firebombs this time, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do pine resin. Okay. So we're going to do fire damage to him. We're going to have a fire mace. That's how we're going to do this. Even though he does an insane amount of damage. Nice. Okay, okay. Fucking eating grass too. Fuck you. Holy shit, man. He dares eat grass. It's weird that it just does one thing of damage. I wish that it kind of like did damage every time you hit it, but just like a little less. Okay. Beaten him with flame. And he gave us three full moon grass and 2,000 souls. We got, see, we got the souls that we lost back, kind of. Dude, the vibration of having a fire mace. Actually, like, your con the controller actually vibrates with the flame. That is amazing. 
I feel like that's close to the Fallon outpost. I feel weren't weren't we seeing like a, a flaming thing? I feel like it's over there. I can't remember now. Can we open this? Oh fuck you. <laughs> Okay, well I came here to check it out. I got my answer. It's a locked, uh, it's a locked door. We're gonna jump, I wish I had my telescope as well, that's also my go-to item. Over there, there's a ledge we can drop down to that has an item, so we're gonna drop down there. And now we have sufficiently explored enough for me to, uh, know which direction we can run in, which we can just go straight down that way. Nice. Um, hopefully we can find another arch stone, so I don't have to backtrack. But let's drop down here. How much damage do I take? Ooh. Not much. Wooden bolt and a light crossbow. Okay, we can't vault over this. We're going down this way. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, this is the bastard that was throwing firebombs down at me. Okay. This guy that's throwing firebombs from above as well. The half moon grass seems to be the most common drop. Good thing is, is the enemies seem to drop them quite frequently. All right. You know what? Fuck it. If we're if we're in this situation, I don't want to lose these these precious souls. Oh, we don't even have any hardstone. What is it? We need hardstone to level up our mace. I don't even know how to level up in this game yet. Do we let like? Do we have a... Do we level up at a rest point? Do we level up with a... With the Candle Maiden? I don't even know yet. I don't know how this shit works. Can I vault over here? I can. There we go. I'll take out the leader. Oh. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh. That's a character. I almost just fucking killed you. I'm glad that I missed. Thief ring. I almost straight up thought that he'd just be the leader of the group. I almost fucked you up. That was a bold leap. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dragglings. I thought that he was, like, the leader, like, rallying them. <laughs> oh, I should have paid closer attention to the fact he didn't really look like an enemy. That was a bold leap. Well, now that you are here, pray... Okay. Why does that look like a switch? Like a button. Alright, well... Are you gonna jump in and help out too, or is it just me? Let's take out some. Take out fire swords first with fire bombs. Yes. Look at me go! I'm not even having to fall down there yet. Right, I feel like I can take on this group. Thank you. You were a great help. <laughs> My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Ostrava. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. <gasps> oh, that's my favorite item. Off he goes, just walking away. I actually really like that the NPC doesn't just stand still. Man's actually fucking going on a journey. Where are you going? He's just walking away. And of course, they're only going to go for me. Where's he going? Oh, no, look at him go! He's going to go fight a dude as well. 
Oh, he has health. Hang on. He has health. We gotta be careful. I help you out again. Here I am, coming to your rescue once more. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm taking credit for that. Can I still talk to you? Take my leave. There is something I must do. His sword and shield look awesome. I can't talk to him again. No matter how far I venture. Sorry, man. That's my fault. That's my bad, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Where's he gone? Who's he fighting? Come on, you got this. It's just one lowly guy. Yeah, get him. Get him. I can't be expected to save your ass every time, Ostrava. He's got a great, like, sword and shield. He's going for me. There you go. Look, teamwork. Oh, oh, oh. You got... Yep, okay. I'll, I'll get the kill then. You, you seem to struggle with that. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Yeah, not me, mate. No matter, is there... Okay, I assume he'll be fine if we just, like, let him go. Right? But off he goes to walk on his little journey. Can we, like... F I've never seen an NPC actually just have a fucking movement path before. It's actually bizarre. They always just stay still and they disappear when you re-enter re, uh, re an area. I'm assuming he's going to need help with these guys, because this is... Uh, he, he struggles to take down just one of them, so I'll help him out here as well. <laughs> is he just standing there? Where is he? What the fuck? He's just walking... <laughs> He saw the he saw all of them. He was like, "Nope, I take my leave of you." And he left. We have sharp stone and hard stone shards now. Okay, sharp stone shards. I can level up my mace. Where where is he? Oh, he's fucking disappeared, isn't he? They walk off for an unknown amount of time and then they just disappear. Okay. That's still cool, though, that he actually walks away. I love that as, like, a detail. That was awesome. Alright, we, we made... We saw fit that he was protected. Hidden wall. Nope. Hidden wall. Nope. Hidden wall. Scimitar? Wait. Is that him fighting? He is! There he's still here! He's just fighting and killing him. He's still just fucking walking around. He didn't just disappear. No matter how <laughs> he is he's just Roman. I love that. Unknown warrior soul. Um I can't vault out here. Can't vault through you'd think you could vault through windows. So I guess we can just hear him in combat. Ostrava. Oh, I have to work really hard to remember names, aren't I? Okay, and now we're just back to this area. There he is. He's just fucking walking. So he's just on like a... He's just on a... Yep, and then he turns around. Yep, okay. So he's just on a fucking... Same walking path. Okay. Which now only leaves going back this way again. Nice. Um... There was also the ability to drop down, but I think that's over this way. Can I vault over this? Yeah. It'd be nice if you could vault, like, up ledges as well. Like, you could climb up a ledge. That would be a nice way to, like, increase it. Now, I think we can drop... Yeah, that's where that drop is. So that takes us down... This place up. Fancy seeing you here? He just he's just gonna roam. That's awesome.
Okay, in that case... There's only one place left to go, because those the doors to that little cathedral area are locked. And it's up there. At least the durability for the weapon seems decent, at least. Like, it's not fucking stupid. Like... Like, my mace still has, obviously, a lot of durability left. Okay, so... This is where we got to last. And there's a bunch of people here. Hello, everyone. One by one. Oh no, there's arrows involved. Okay, why would you make arrows involved in this? Alright, hang on. Let me get rid of these guys first. And... I'm gonna do this. Makes me slow, but I need to protect myself. There's so many of them, dude. Fuck you. Constantly out of stamina because I'm blocking as well. God! <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! Fuck you. Alright. Crescent moon grass. We must adapt to our situations. Um, I need to remember that I should be using I should be using my miracles. You see, this also has an exclamation mark. The simtar. Hmm. 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 I know what the exclamation mark is for. But we've got you know st uh, thrust. Slam? What is it? S uh, blunt? Uh, blunt. Stab. Strike. Yeah. Normal slash pierce. Blunt. Yeah. So we, we should be doing better against the armored guys with our mace. Let me check my talisman of guard back on. So I can heal thyself. Boys, seen a forlorn outpost. I'm looking for my body. Ow. Not only are they fucking spearmen, they also have firebombs. And that's just a that's just a really unfortunate mixture of fucked. Two of them as well. Stop it. My attacks are too fucking slow, man. Compared to these spears. I'm sick of your shit, son. Give me more half moon grass. I'll be munching on this shit daily. Hmm. This way. Oh god, okay, that's a, there's a lot of people there. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I'm gonna go this way. Can I have an archstone, please? Can I have something? Like a level up? A bonfire of dreams? Anything. Let's try this pathway. Oh, no! Um... No! Two of them! <laughs> Not just one! Two of them! Um... Why? Okay, we can go down a pathway to the side. Fucking hell, man. I'm carrying so many souls. 
I'm in danger. Alright, I'm going for the people first. People over dragons, if we're going to choose a destination. I'm going to go this way. How many fucking people are on this bridge, dude? Yeah, come on. Bring him in. Why do I feel like the wyvern is going to come into play in a second? Yeah. I can fucking hear it. <laughs> He's going to do the fire thing. Fire breath? No. Oh. No. Oh. I thought he was going to do the fire breath from Dark Souls 1 and just burn the whole bridge. Interesting. Subverting expectations. He just dropped in and then flew off immediately? I'm so confused. Oh god, I'm scared. Where the fuck are you? Where is it? There it is. Is it coming in or not? Oh, why are they so strong? Holy shit. Are you okay. Huh? What is it doing? <laughs> it just it's dropping in and then it leaves. I'm waiting for it to do something. I'll just get I just I don't need the dragon's help, I'll just take him on myself. Okay. See dragon, see how it's done? I did a fireball. I did fire. Where's your fire? Are you even capable of breathing fire or just shoving dead bodies in your mouth? Hmm? I'm cleaning up this whole thing without him. See, my main concern here is like, is the dragon supposed to be trying to stop me from getting through here? Oh god, oh god. See, now I'm here. Now I'm worried. Oh, my screen is shaking. He does fire. See, I fucking knew that he was going to do fire. You're too late, chief. I killed them all. <laughs> There's no fucking, no soldier barbecue today. I did your job for you. I knew there was going to be fire involved. Look at that dickhead. The way that my whole screen shakes. So cool. So there must have been like a... It must have been a... Um, sort of like distance thing. Nice. Like if you're not close enough, the dragon doesn't do the fire thing. Because it's there just to fuck you up. <laughs> Specifically fuck you up. We've opened the main gates. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. The gates have been opened. Oh no, I picked the wrong time to fucking eat leaves. Why did I do that at a doorway? <laughs> Rookie mistake. Hello. Rookie mistake. Four pine resin. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Lad. Oh. Close quarters spearman. Close quarters spearman, you say? Fuck you. I was hoping that the one with full health would have been the one to charge out first. Ah, the man. This is what not having a shield does to a motherfucker. I'm just hitting walls. God, they're really playing on home home turf, aren't they? Fuck now. Oh, and I'm in a room with that I haven't tried out before. They're just ju just outside of reach constantly. This is what I get for having a mace. Fuck you.
Oh yeah, I got a fucking, hang on a minute. I got a telescope. I got so excited about the telescope, but then I got excited and distracted by the fact that the NPC walked off. All right, hang on. We also got a jade hair ornament uh, of the kind worn by commoners. So it's just an item. I'm assuming because we found it on a, on a body and we can't use it, we'll probably have to give it to someone. That seems to be the, the classic thing. Uh, we've got MP restoration. Oh, we've got full... Oh, that's what we got. Sorry, not late moon grass. We've got full moon grass. Full moon grass is picked from the vanishingly small quantity that matures to a bit of full glow after withering. A very large amount. A rare trinket which employs concave glass that allows one to view distant scenes as clear as day, possibly originated in the relatively advanced region of Boletaria's south. So, there's no, like, quick item thing, is there? I just, I'm going to have to have it in here if I want to use it. I'm going to have to take up a full item slot, aren't I, with my telescope? <laughs> of course I am. Let's get rid of that. I don't have any firebombs left, so we'll save that. N oh, good. I almost got uh, really upset. I thought it was gonna... <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like Bloodborne, where it's like, has a reticle, and you can, and it goes like third person, weirdly. Luckily, that's not the case. It does go full mode, and we can zoom in. Perfect. It's just what I wanted. It's everything I could have ever dreamed of. And now I just need a torch. Which, to be honest, we should probably be able to buy from a man. What is that? What is that? What the fuck? That's a blob with a... What the fuck is happening? It's a blob with a shield, but it's throwing shit at me. What the fuck? Are you blocking the path as well? What the fuck? Okay, fuck you. I'm just gonna drop down here then. What the fuck? Alright, give, give me a second. Is this my only option in terms of where I can go? Is there another pathway available to me? Hold on. We open the main gates. So we can go back to the main gates if we want. I assume this is just the long way of getting there. Because I'm pretty sure that there's, there's that little gate off to the right of the main door that I'm almost confident it's in this tower. Because it'll be like a shortcut. Can I fuck you? Yes. Fuck you, you jelly bastard. What the fuck? <laughs> Only 35 souls. Okay. Yes, it is. It's exactly where I thought we were. Oh no, it's a fog wall. It's a fog wall. Okay, good thing is, the archstone is there, and we're going to be able to just go to the nexus, and I can level up this mace with those hard stones that we found. Good. Good. Who needs an archstone? Oh. Oh. Who needs a new archstone when you can just open up a shortcut to go to the old archstone? Nice. Open up. Okay, so that's a bit. Well, you've just ditched your weapon. Oh. Ew. Whatever's in there has thrown its weapon away, so it's not very good with its tactics. <laughs> um, we're going... 
back to the Nexus. I'll level up this mace uh, because I don't know how to level up yet in Demon Souls. Okay, so we reappear back here. Cool. <gasps> There's that guy! There's the guy. He made it safely. Oh god. Oh, he made it safely back here and he's decided to sit up there. Before the blight, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. I have spent much time in my studies in the cultured countries of the south, yet no country holds my heart as does Boletaria. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. I refuse to believe... Okay. We've brought a man home. Actually, hang on. Oh, I was like, is, is this our... Is this our candle maiden? It's a maiden with candles, but a statue. Tell me how to level up Crestfallen Knight. You came for demon. But, no. All right. Fuck it. We'd be level up our mace. Oh, good day to you. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. For a fair price. Um. Hmm. Give me a second. All right. Upgrades. My mace. Three hundred souls and three hardstone shards. Mace plus one. Okay. Oh, Miltstone Shard can take it back down. Interesting. Okay. Small upgrade has been done. Have you got a torch by any chance, sir? No. But you have a sharpening stone that recovers the durability, and that's 2,000. May as well just repair my equipment this way. But then, oh, when I level up my mace, it increases the durability. Nice. May as well. For now, because we have no idea what mess we're going to get ourselves into behind this fog wall. I'll be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. Do come back alive. I need your business. Okay. Um, I can give you shit. That ornament. That belongs to my daughter. Oh no. She didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that hair ornament? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Bruh. Well, no. <laughs> um, fuck. I was like, well, we're going to have to give this to someone. There was two bodies. There was two bodies. Do you want the ragged clothes as well? <laughs> You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everywhere I go, I'm haunted by that fucking much. Xanthus Please crown. Accept this as thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look ordinary, but it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway. I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Okay. Ring of Herculean strength. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after. Stockpile Thomas. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you. Actually, I should be able to. Can I sell shit? I can forge weapons for you. Can I sell weapons or not? Probably not to you. Maybe to Dregling. No interest, eh? I can tell you're not going to love. Shut up. Hmm. I'll hold on to my inventory. I don't think we have a set like inventory space, so it's fine. I might see if we can sell shit. Dude, I just want to level up. <laughs> <laughs> After all of these Souls games, and I enter a new game, and I'm like, how the fuck do I play this shit? 
<laughs> There's no jump button. I don't know who to talk to to level up. I need a candle maiden to make my dreams come true. It seems like there would be someone like stood here or some shit, or someone stood here. Bearer of the curse. Bear seek seek lest. There's an item up there. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's run up here. Ooh. There's an item there. Uh, good first try. So I gotta land, you gotta fucking go on like those weird box platforms. Without dying. Alright, where'd my, where my soul's at? Okay, let's try. Let's try. Oh, there's two. Well, there's one on each side. In terms of items. Okay, let's try this first. Oh god, I, I literally pressed the roll button. Okay. I pressed the roll button and the game said no. This would be great if there was an actual dedicated jump button in the game. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this arduous pain. Hang on, what the... Oh, it's a fucking ghost. It'd be like some fucking leaves or some shit. I swear to god. But there is one on each side. So, we'll see. Okay. Can we map out this? I think I can... Nice. Renowned warrior soul. Okay. And now I gotta do it again. They're just like, now do it again. <laughs> On the other side. Alright, that's... Simple enough. So a renowned warrior soul, and I'm gonna, I'm hold, I'm not cashing in those souls <laughs> until I know how the hell I can level up. <laughs> um. Damn it! Damn it! Ooh. I'm alive! Fuck you, game. It was fucking grass. New moon grass, though. Okay. Oh. Different grass. Of the new moon. Consume to recover all HP. The effects of new moon grass... Sorry, the effects of moon grass depend on the state of time. New moon grass is wilted grass that did not decompose even after many moons of exposure to the elements. Cool. All right, we got varying levels of grass. Grass, lass. Oh, Mbasa. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a meme. That's why that message said Mbasa. I make it makes sense already. Okay. Well, fuck. I can't level up, but I've leveled up my mace, and I guess all that I have to hold on to at the very least is it should be relatively easy to retrieve my souls if I die a lot. At this point, because we're just running through these this fog wall. Let us go through. I have my miracle for healing. I got my grass. My grass 
Should be good. I've also got resin if I need it. Alright, what is it? Phalanx. Oh! Holy fuck, the spears make sense now. Dude, oh, oh. No! No! Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I wonder if they're weak to fire. Is sludge weak to fire? Oh god, there's a weak, there's a weak, creamy center to it. Fucking, this is a Dark Souls enemy. <laughs> In the painted world, isn't it? This is funny, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Get their sludge. Get their creamy center. Oh no. I hate this. What an interesting boss. Okay. I've prepared my whole life for this with resin. Okay, so there's a big ass weak point. Hit the weak point for massive damage. Why is there so many? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It even does massive damage through the shield. Oh. 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 I like that uh, killing all the ones around it doesn't actually do damage to the main thing. I've just got to kill the fucking weak point, but fuck me, I just need to get an opening for that. Kill the creamy center. Oh no, I'm gonna die! I'm not paying attention. Hide behind a thing so I don't get spears thrown at me. Cool music though. Oh, of course my fire thing ran out right as I'm about to be able to actually get damage on the main thing. Yeah, you fucker. Get burned. Get burned. Oh, dear lord. Dear lord. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> Get, Get burned. It makes so much sense seeing it all together. Break through their defenses. Sharpstone shard. It's healing! What the fuck? It's healing! Why are you at full health? What the fuck? It just went to full health! You fucking bastard, what? Even when I kept attacking it, it was still like... That's a... that's... that's... that's something. I can't get to its creamy center. There it is. chip away at these outer ones so I can you know, smash my way into a weak spot. You got a weak spot for me to poke at? You're a speedy fella, aren't you? There we are. That's right. Ain't no healing in this house anymore. Okay. You're out. Your ass is grass. Hey! 
It ain't happening, Chief. You're out of here. You're done! Demon vanquished. You shall obtain the demon soul and a power beyond human imagination. You have regained your body. <gasps> you regain your body by destroying a boss. Okay. I thought I had to go look for my original body. And, like, face off against the vanguard demon again. That was awesome. Again, I proceeded to forget that I have the ability to use miracles to heal myself instead of eating grass. It's all the, it's all the same. You know how it is. <laughs> I need to get used to actually having miracles. And now we have an archstone. A lead demon soul. The Lord's Path. I've regained my humanity. Okay, so that's how... That's how that works. Okay. Um, lead demon soul. Soul of the phalanx demon. Consumed to gain a large number of souls. Certain demon souls transmute to magic, miracles, or weapons. Cool. Okay, different weapons with need hard stone or sharp stone up to level 10. Good to know. Our Ring of Herculean Strength raises item carry capacity. And now we got a Thief Ring, which conceals the bearer's presence from enemies up to a distance. Cool. Wonderful. Let's head back to the Nexus. Can we level up now that we've regained our humanity? Aha. It is different now. Welcome back. <laughs> oh. The monumental awaits the above. Okay. Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Oh, that door's open now. Cool. Okay, can I level up with you now, Candle Maiden? Is that how this works? The Monumental awaits the above. The Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. So, not only her, her eyes waxed over. Her mouth is shut. <laughs> she she ain't talking with her mouth, that's for sure. <laughs> she got big ass candle. Okay. Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest you. The black robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's the morose one. With eyes sealed, compacted by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. Level up, maiden. But beware. Do not decay into a foul beast. Okay. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> What's happened? No At least. <laughs> All right, let's go up. We will have the Nexus... Oh god, I went the wrong way. We'll have the Nexus explained to thee. So we've killed our first boss. The Phalanx Demon. Got our soul. Now we're going to travel up here and see what the hell's going on behind this door. The Monumental.
is a large place. Oh, is that the monument? Okay. That's okay. I'm going to quickly just poke my head up here first. Another closed door. Okay, so over time, these doors will open to us and we can keep ascending. Ooh, touch door to the Pantheon. All right, maybe not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Get ahead of myself before I touch the door to the Pantheon. Let's have a look at this. Oh. Uh, um. Another item. Bloody hell, mate. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Used in, used in soul form to resurrect one's body. Oh. Has the power to restore one's corporeal form. Can only be used in soul form. Once used, it crumbles into nothing. Cool. So that's our way to regain humanity in this game. Are these fucking babies? What the fuck? That's grim. They're fucking starved children. And there's so many of them. What the hell? Also, the concept of the upside down statue stuff. That's really cool. Like, seeing all of this. This architecture is wild, man. That's bizarre. Okay, turns out I've got to touch the door to the Pantheon after all. I thought, oh. Hmm. That's a shortcut back down. All right, we're not talking to a giant statue. I'm going, you never know, man. You never know. It, it was a big balcony in front of a statue. I was like, who knows? A statue could be possessed. Touch this door. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hang on. What the fuck is this? I just, I'm just looking at, am I just looking at people's characters? Okay. Mender of the world. Am I looking at people that have like beaten the game? Oh, oh yes, it's like a leaderboard room. They're like fastest completions. Why the, okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Most demons vanquished. I'm in a weird leaderboard room. What the hell? <laughs> Instructions unclear. Am I supposed to be talking to the giant statue? I think so. Most phantoms saved. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm in a leaderboard room. Destroyer of the world. I'm gonna stop looking at this shit. Because this is like... This is too much for my baby eyes to see. I shouldn't be looking at leaderboards, man. Okay, get me out of this pantheon. It is this, isn't it? Hello? Talk, talk to me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I guess I'll just uh, figure out what the fuck this maiden wants me to do. 
Because apparently I'm big dumb. The monumental, the monumental will explain. It's I gotta talk to the giant statue, right? Do we have gestures? We do we do have gestures. <gasps> there's a photo mode. Oh, there's a photo mode. Seriously? Oh wow. Oh, that's the dream. That's the dream. There's a photo mode. You can show your weapons and change where you want them to be. Oh, and you can change your pose. Dude, yes. I'm going to actually be able to like make cool thumbnails with my th with my f photo mode. Amazing. Oh, that's so good. Every every game, especially Bloodborne needs a fucking needs a oh, fucking Photo mode. Talk to me, monumental. I cuppeth your balls in my hand. Please explain the nexus to me. Alright. Fuck me, man. What is the... Am I dropping down here? It killed me before. Oh god, that's fucking creepy. Um, that's not fucking scary at all, is it? We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once... We too, a scourge of demons faced. Oh. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowman. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Wow. By the power of the monumental, the four sealed archstones have been unlocked. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, a deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? No. No, I just came here to get souls and go home. Yes. 
We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Every single one. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Fuck yeah, dude. That is so cool. That whole intro where it's like, it was very Galadriel explaining like the rings. <laughs> Four to the dwarf lords. Nine. Nine rings were given to the world of men who above all else desire power. <laughs> so cool. Uh, loving the cutscenes and the exposition stuff. Really, really neat. Uh, Monumental's creepy as fuck. He's just chilling with a bunch of his dead friends that just all don't exist anymore. And he's just like, well, it's just me left. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones. And in order to mend reality, Monumental's we became. However, man's memory of history is ever short. And before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the Old One. The monumentals and the short-sighted King Alant roused the old one. I love the concept of there just being like this old one. That's so cool. Okay. God damn. Let's go talk to the candle maiden so we can level up now because we've done what she asked. Now she's like, congratulations. You may level up. That child was creepy as hell. Love that I just rock up and they're just like, do you wish to be the one to slay all of the demons? You're like, mm, sure. Sure. I'll do it. Where do I sign? Let me level up now, please. Brave soul, for whom death is no fear. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. I like that you can fucking move while you're in dialogue. Eye stones briefly connect to fused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden in black manipulates souls within human prowess. Her strength allows her to aid slayers of demons. Right, let's have a look at these items. Blue eye stone and white eye stone, uh, which is leave soul sign to help other worlders and send phantoms home or return to your own world. Has the power to control summoning. In death, your body is lost and you assume soul form, and then can this be used to leave a soul sign? The soul sign is projected to countless disparate worlds where you can be summoned as a phantom. Dying and becoming a soul and then having less health uh, sucks to me. <laughs> but we gotta roll with it. We gotta roll with the punches. At least when we're in soul form, we don't look like ugly and hollowed like in Dark Souls. But... Um, yeah, you have to use those stones, and I don't know how rare they are yet. We've got two of them, but that's how we can become, have full health again. But health is nothing in these games. It's all about, all about fucking getting good, isn't it? <laughs> what is it? I would like to level up, please. Seek us out the power of souls? Yes. Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. Should we, uh, <laughs> get a bedroom for that? Myself. I'm only here to tend to each flame. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. We got any showers in this place? You look like you need got a bit of stinky feet. You want a shower? Maybe we could wash the wax off of your eyes. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles. Okay. 
Seek, seeketh soul power. Okay. Oh God. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So there's memory, magic power, miracle power, magic memory, miracle memory. So how much magics and miracles we can memorize. Bleed, poison, and plague resistances. God damn. Equip burden, item burden. Alright. Interesting. Um, let's... I'm going to get some health, uh, I'm going to get some faith, I'm going to put some points into strength, and stamina, equip burden, some resistances, also endurance. Level 13, bam, I've leveled up, lovely. Art thou finished? Yep. May thy strength help the world be mended. Cool. Okay, we finally have leveled up. We've defeated our first boss. We've learned things from the monumental. We're going to have to get used to being in soul form for a lot of this game. And that will bring our first episode of Demon Souls to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for our very first episode of the long-awaited Demon Souls playthrough. If you're looking forward to this one, if you're new to the channel and want to see and catch up on other FromSoft playthroughs, and if you have enjoyed this one, please do consider subscribing and sticking with me on the channel because it helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for the second episode of the Demon Souls playthrough. I'm really excited. I'm enjoying this one a lot. It's off to a great start. I can't wait for more. I'll see you then.